Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're going to be opening up another box of Throne of Eldraine. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty fun. I am uh, pretty excited to open these. They uh, they actually have lottery cards in them, so it's cool. You can get the uh, extended art of, the, uh, of a lot of the mythics. I don't know if it's all the mythics, I don't know all of them. But yeah, I went ahead and got a couple more boxes, so I'm going to do a couple more videos. And uh, yeah, it was uh, pretty interesting. I traded uh, some cards, and I uh, had eight cards. Ended up paying $17 for the rest of these. And uh, yeah, hoping to just pull some cool stuff. I did get rid of some pretty cool cards. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, we got a foil of this thing. Oh, and a great hinge already with a mythic. All right, starting out of the gates with a foil and a mythic. That's pretty nice. That's the uh, commons and the commons. All right, that's uh, pretty awesome. And that's a really good card. Really like that hinge. It is uh, pretty decent. All right, token. Another foil, cool. This thing is so cool. Oh, that foil. Yeah. That is sweet. Heck yeah. And a witch's vengeance. Oh yeah. That's uh that's really good. It's really good stuff right there. Guess I didn't have a rare pile, huh? Ah, I'm baking a pie. Turn a guy into a pie. Somebody was turning uh one of my tree folk into a pie, and I was like, hey, you're going to get splinters, bro. It's not a good idea. All right. That boar token's pretty cool, too. Another foil. Foil land. And a Cleck Bridge Troll. This guy is sweet. I think that makes three of them for me. Oh, yeah, and this new uh, Mono Rock here is pretty nice, too. Really like that card. Um, there's a food token and a mountain. And another mythic, Outlaw's Merriment. That card's not too bad. Uh, not too excited about it. I already have one. So, so yeah, it's a, it seems like a fun one. Seems like it could be decent. At least for somebody somewhere. Another foil, a uh, Searing Blaze, which looks pretty cool too. And a Wildborn Preserver. He is pretty nice when a non-human deck. I think they're uh, they're pushing for knights and non-humans. That's pretty funny. And they can battle it out. Ah, uh, yeah. So anything with uh, anything that's not a human tribe might actually have a decent boost to it. Which is always fun. Oh, Murderous Rider. This guy is so good. And I'm pretty sure that makes four of them for me. Revenge of Ravens. That's a really good card, too. Yeah, I really like this set. The way it plays in Sealed is uh, really fun. And uh, drafts, you know, of course, be great. And, uh, yeah. It seems to bring a lot to Standard as well. Uh, a lot of good stuff that it needed. Happily Ever After. Funny, I already got two of those bakes and the pies, but couldn't pull any at the pre-release. It was a super fun set to play in, though. Love the fairy tale theme, and all the planeswalkers are awesome. Got the charming prince there. All right. It's funny. I'm more excited about that uncommon red green guy than I am about the rare. Oh, yeah. These pull tabs. These uh. Backs are tough sometimes. I just can't get them to open up. Swamp. Oh, Yorvo. Alright. Alright, that's not bad. He's uh he's alright. He's decent. A lot better in the uh, limited environment, of course. I think you could find some place for him in uh, standard. Those food tokens, that seems to be a, that seems like it's gonna be a good uh, standard deck right there. 
got Torbon, Thane of Redfell. Thane of Redfell. He uh, he's pretty cool. I also, I just like red a lot. Epic Downfall. Yes. There's some of that removal. Uh, very excited to open these uh, packs up. I pulled a Garuk out of some prize packs that I got. So, hoping to get... Oh, yeah. Got that Castle Lock Lockwain. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, I pulled a Garuk out of there. And I pulled an Oko from my... Um, my last pre-release kit. So, I am pretty happy with that one. Um... Now I just need the Scions, and I can uh, be done with this. Yeah, focus. Alright, got that Feasting Troll King. This one's cool, too. All right, the the trolls. <laughs> uh, trolls and fairy tales are a lot tougher than trolls in other sections of uh, lore, apparently. Because they are just beastly things. <laughs> I do like that, though. And that dude supposedly lives under a bridge. It must be a pretty big bridge. Planes, a foil ginger brute. Heck yeah. Um, I got my face smashed by a gingerbread man a couple times at the pre-release. That's that's pretty funny. Linden, the steadfast queen. She's pretty decent. I would like to see her in Constructed. But I don't know how uh, how that would work out right now. We just have to wait and see. I'm going to try and brew a standard deck later, too. I mean, all these boxes I got to do. Oh, cool. The uh, Robber of the Rich. All right. Yeah, he's not bad. This one's uh, this one's pretty funny. And uh, I like it because he's not Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Not bad. And then I got the, the vehicle. The pumpkin carriage. Which cracks me up. That thing's awesome. And it's awesome that they have one in Magic now. Mountain. This gargoyle, he haunts me. I just, I don't, I don't like that gargoyle. I was like, nope, no thank you. Give me a, give me a better card, please. I love this adventure thing. It like creates another zone. It's so weird. A wicked wolf, and he looks wicked. Oh, cool, and this is the uh, alternate border here with the the vines and uh alternate art oh she is <laughs> okay so yeah she's that's creepy as heck i didn't even notice that the bear skin rug and the bear on the wall yeah so she's not she didn't just stumble upon that house uh like we thought when we were kids huh A jousting dummy foil. He's all right. That's a fun one. And we got a worthy knight. This is a great one. Uh, the knights in this set are just so awesome. And it's just, oh my gosh. And this guy, Sir Conrad. There he is. Yep. Sir Conrad, stupid. It's really easy to see them alternate borders. So you can flip right through them, common, uncommons. They do have alternate borders in all the spots. All right. Foiled Beanstalk Giant. This is actually my second foil. I got one at the pre-release. And Aara, the first of Locked Wayne. She is awesome, too. I do, uh, I do like the, uh, I like most of the Legends. They're pretty decent. The uncommon Legend slot, though, it just seems to be better than the than the rares. Like, she doesn't even do as much as the other guy, but she does sacrifice and let you put in a, uh, or let you draw a card. Oh, cool. Stormfist Crusader. This guy is so good. Just, uh, throw him out there and outpace your opponent. It's really fun. Uh, yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Got that emblem. Does that mean I'm going to get that Garuk? No. Got a castle. Castle Ardenvale. Alright. That's not so bad. I think I have all the castles now. For sure. And then, uh... I might not... I might not have a... 
a blue one, I want to say. But I'm not sure. I'll be checking soon. Piper of the Swarm. Love this card. This is the, the, the Mad Ratter. Yeah, that's good stuff. Don't mind that one. I want to just pull a Royal Scion so I can call it a day. That full tab just bent that card. Stinking pull tabs. The Magic Mirror. Another Mythic. This one's cool. I do like this one. Um, not so good and sealed. I didn't hear any good things about it. That's for sure. Nope. All right. This is a very fun set to open up because you never know what's going to be in there. Uh, the packs are all backwards. Acclaimed contender. All right. And yeah. This is uh, the the pie the pie theme cracks me up. Bacon and a pie. You just turn anything into a pie. It's like, yeah, all right. Wait, that's weird. <laughs> uh, and then the food tokens are so good. Some of the games, though, they just go long. Gadwick the Wizened. He's a nice commander. And I have extras of him now. There's the green guy. I guess that the green guy is not quite as good as the the green rare. So that's cool. They at least got one of the colors. <laughs> uh, it's uh, another fun thing though is uh, just all the the different interactions that are pre-release and like this one really made it fun. Sundering stroke, not bad. This thing is cool too. I really like that one. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I just love opening up the packs and building a deck out of it. That's always a, it's always a good time. Fabled Passage. I like this one. Yeah, my last video I said this might be a better fetch land. It's actually a worse fetch land, but you don't lose any life. It comes to play tapped, so it's not so good. <laughs> uh, animating Fairy with the, the different uh, border there. Deafening Silence is so good. That card really makes it work out. If you want to play with a fair deck, you just make your deck fair. Gotta stop opening these like this. Look, he's bending it. All right, and there we go. This is uh, these these two. You know, they're meant for each other. And uh, yeah, it's fun. You get seven mana. You use that seven mana. Pay for that. Guess what? You pay seven red mana for it. So now you get to hit three things for seven. Fun times. Food and a mountain. Oh, there's a there's a foil um, alternate border, and that is really good looking. We're gonna go ahead and set this one off the side of here. Then we got that red castle, Castle Embreth, Embreth. It's Embreth. Wondermare. All right. Enough of that. That is cool. That looks really good. Like this just it just looks good. Like that is a shiny right there. Oh yeah, I love it. I really do. That's that is something. All right, I'm gonna be staring at that a few minutes after this video. Oh yeah, saw somebody pull a foil, a uh, different Garuk, different picture of Garuk, and uh, it was crazy good. Hey, that's awesome. All right. <laughs> Forgot about that card. That card's cool. That card works out real good and uh, limited. But yeah, where are my foil? Where's my foil rare? Huh? Pretty sure I got my four mythics, so I don't think I'm going to get another mythic. I'm not expecting it anyway. Got that midnight clock. This card's pretty cool. I saw my buddy got a shiny one of these and it was so cool looking. I was like, dude, that's, yeah, it was pretty epic. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty epic. Epic downfall. Only got, uh, what, six packs, including this one? So, uh, we're, uh, we're off to a good start. Trying to go a little quicker than I did last time. Got a Sorcerer's Spyglass. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah. There's also no surprises for me left, so I won't be freaking out about getting a bunch of, a bunch of cool, crazy stuff I never expect. That is a foil mythic. Holy crap, that is awesome. I have 
the pre-release of him too. That is so cool. And then an Ember Cleave, another mythic, double mythics, double mythic pack. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. So I wasn't expecting another mythic, and I get two. How much fun is that? And there's a non-foil with the alternate art. That's pretty sweet. Hell yeah, with the mythics though. And that giant seems cool. And uh, I, it just seems like he'd be fun to play with. Plane's got that Gilded Goose. I like this guy. Not quite a Birds of Paradise. And these brooms right here. What's that movie? Fantasia? They look just like the brooms out of Fantasia. Like Mickey Mouse is coming along. And he's going to be like, hey, guess what? It's Mickey Mouse time. Open up pack. Alright, got the human token. And a giant killer. Awesome. Really like the giant killer. He uh, likes to kill giants. And uh, yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> Want to put him and that other guy in the same deck. And just, you know. Make the giant watch as he murders all of his friends or something. That'd be weird. Hey, there's a goat. I haven't gotten one of those. That's pretty awesome. I was starting to wonder. A glass casket. All right. It's a. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I like this guy, and he's a. Uh, he's got the alternate border too. That's fun. Frogify. Frogify is another great addition to magic in general. All right, get that out of here. Right there. Dance of the Man's Foil. Another foil rare. These boxes have been really good for me. <laughs> and then Return of the Wild Speaker. All right, well, that is crazy with the five mythics, the sixth mythic that was a foil, and then a foil rare as well. And I got this. So, all right, that was fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, you know, have a great day. Thank you.